Barbera Nebbiolo. Two of the most important grape varieties of Piedmont, Italy's renowned wine region. They are often vinified separately, but when blended together, the result is beautiful. The acidity, fruitiness, and deep color of the Barbera perfectly complement the tannic structure and ageability of the Nebbiolo, creating a well-balanced and flavorful wine. Hi there. I'm Jacqueline Forvero. We search out and import high quality, lesser known wines to the US that are made with passion by small wineries. Wines like this Echile by Case Corini, a very interesting Nebbiolo and Barbera blend that we're going to taste together in this video. So let's get started. Case Quarini is a small winery that makes high quality wines with minimal intervention, both in the vineyard and in the cellar. You can check out our series of videos about Casa Corini if you want to learn more about their unique style of making wines. You'll find the links to those videos and blogs in the description below. Achille is their version of the classic Barbera and Nebbiolo blend to get the best out of these amazing grape varieties. In fact, winemaker Guido Carino talks about how they tend to work together. When one does good, the other's a little bit weak, and so they balance each other out. It's a great two varieties to mix together. The Achille vineyard is located in the area of Costigliole d'Asti with old vines of different biotypes of Barbera and Nebbiolo. By the way, the name of this wine, Achille, comes from the name of the vineyard that is planted with Barbera and Nebbiolo grapes. It was the name of the previous owner of the vineyard to whom this wine is dedicated. Achille was the first to introduce the Nebbiolo grape to the area, and he had the idea to plant Nebbiolo where Barbera was not growing well. So how is this Barbera and Nebbiolo blend made? After the grapes are hand harvested, they are gently crushed and thanks to natural yeasts, there's no yeasts added here, spontaneous fermentation takes place in wooden barrels. During fermentation, only batonnage is carried out, with this fermentation lasting from about six to nine weeks after which the wine is aged again in wooden barrels for another 30 to 36 months. No enological intervention is applied during the cellaring phase and no sulfites are added, the wine is not filtered, there is nothing removed and nothing added here. It's just the wine. So let's taste together how all of this translates into the wine and we'll see what we get in the glass, shall we? Both the bouquet and palette of this wine boasts great depth and complexity. This is a wine with two souls, one being the fruity acidity of the Barbera, the other being the austere elegance of the Nebbiolo. This wine is delightful with its aromas of chocolate covered cherries and the taste is fresh and rich with a fruity flavor that is well balanced with the noticeable Nebbiolo tannins. The finish is long and it leaves you really wanting more. It's a perfect wine to enjoy with a nice meal or even just to kind of sip on its own and savor. As always with the wines we present on this channel, you can find this Achille in our online shop at verovino.com. There's a direct link in the description below as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tasting videos like this one. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.